Well, 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 we've reached episode 30 of Nintendo TV, and like anybody aged 30, we're wondering where the time has gone and getting a bit nostalgic this week as we look back at some of the best games on WiiWare and DSiWare from 2010. But first, here's the latest Nintendo TV news. This week, we spent a lovely evening in Amsterdam after being flown over by Nintendo for an exclusive 3DS event. The event was hosted by broadcasting legend Jonathan Ross, who spent last weekend talking on Twitter about how much he loves the 3DS. Ross said, the 3D is far better than I would have thought possible without glasses. Watch out for our special 3DS episode in next week's Nintendo TV. Now though, we look back at an amazing year of WiiWare and DSiWare titles. Games aren't just bought in shops anymore, everyone knows this. Last year saw absolutely loads of ridiculously good games released on WiiWare and DSiWare, Nintendo's download service. First up in our top DSiWare games, who wants to score some football? I mean, goals in the football. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. With Real Football 2010, you don't have to know everything about football to get involved. It's a good solid arcade football game that doesn't take itself too seriously. That being said, it definitely stands up against the big boys, FIFA and Pro Evo, and we'd argue is just as much fun. One of our favourite DSiWare titles has to be Dark Void Zero. Apparently the game was developed way back in the 80s for a now defunct arcade system which took advantage of two screens, but the game was abandoned and left collecting dust in the Capcom vaults. Well, you know how much Nintendo loved double screens, and when DSiWare was launched, Capcom resurrected Dark Void Zero, and the result is an action-packed little shooter. Well, that's our favourite DSiWare titles for when you're on the move, but how about some WiiWare titles? Now I know us lot at Nintendo TV know our WiiWare games pretty well, but this week we thought we'd get in some help from a real person who makes games for a living. Jonathan Biddle is the design director over at Curve Studios, the excellent people behind 2010's Hydraventure. We managed to corner him and get him to talk about how the amazing water puzzler thingy ended up as one of the stars of the WiiWare service. Uh, Hydraventure came up when one of the uh, programmers at, at Curve uh, had the idea of making a game about water and um, for a long time we were thinking about how interesting it would be to make a game based around this thing that everyone understands and everyone knows, you know, people, people plays in the bath, they all pour water from the cups into the bath and uh, everyone washes with water, they drink water, they go and play in the, in the swimming pool, so we all know what water is and when we're at school we all learn about how you freeze water and it becomes ice and you boil up water and it becomes steam. We thought there were very interesting elements uh, and we, when, we, uh, when we first saw the Wii Remote we, we immediately realised that uh, that would be twinned really well with the movement of water because the, the intuitive nature of moving left and right matches exactly what people expect out of water. OK, so at first glance, a game where the main character is a puddle of water might not instantly grab you, but spend the smallest amount of time with Hydraventure and you'll soon fall in love with it. It's not hard to see the inspiration from other titles that's gone into Hydraventure. Mr Biddle talked us through some of the games he looked to for inspiration whilst making the game. I think the big things for us really were the, the classic Nintendo games and we, we, were, we were looking very much at uh, Super Mario 64 and, um, and Super Metroid. We, we really like the, the Mario 64 system where you kind of go into an area and it's all very freeform and you, you kind of poke holes in it, try and find where that star is and how you, how you get that star. The other thing is obviously Metroid and, and the way that you have to uh, gain powers in order to progress further so the game is very much about exploration and you're moving around this space and you're constantly coming across, across things that you can't get through and you, you, you don't quite have the ability yet so we really like that you kind of always oh, I can't get there you know how do I how do I get in there again so I, as you start to play the game you start to learn ah you know maybe I'll come back later when I've got more abilities and we look quite t quite closely at Metroid to see what it is that they did and how they did that and, um, you know it's such a great structure it means that you're constantly being rewarded the more you kind of explore and uh, we, we think that it was really useful for us. Hydraventure is out now. Here's our picks of some of the other great WiiWare titles that were released in 2010.
Join us next week on Nintendo TV as we bring you a huge 3DS special, lifting the lid on 2011's must-have console.